Hi, it's Dougie Wood, and in this video, I'm going to be talking to you about SharePoint home sites and what the difference between them are and SharePoint hub sites. So, starting off, what is a SharePoint home site? Microsoft define a SharePoint home site um, as the ability to provide a customized landing experience that reflects the organization's brand, voice, and priorities. A home site also serves as the gateway to other portals and other SharePoint sites throughout your organization's intranet. But not only um, is this providing a gateway to other high traffic portals and connecting people with internet wide search experiences, um, it's also leveraging the features of Microsoft Viva Connections. And in fact, if you're deploying Viva Connections, um, then setting a home site is actually one of the uh, steps that you'll need to take. At a high level glance over the functionality that you're going to get is the search bar across the top won't actually just search um, a single SharePoint site or if you've already enabled this as a hub site and we're going to go on to talking about hub sites in a moment it's not just going to search the sites associated to that hub anymore it's going to search all of SharePoint it's just going to find all the different SharePoint sites and files and different things throughout SharePoint as a whole um, as I scroll down You'll also see that it sets news that come from uh, this home site as official news. So the official news will be labeled, and you'll have this little big bold label next to it with the name of your internet. Now my internet is just called The Hub, um, so that's what the label next to news will be. But essentially what SharePoint will do is it'll prioritize these news articles as being the number one official news which is coming from my organization. So on the SharePoint landing pages, um, it will actually prioritize these news articles above Above any other news articles that come through. You will also see on the left hand side um, that we now have this sort of bar uh, which has a global navigation option and this global navigation um, is actually really easy to set up uh, and I'll be showing you this later on but essentially this global navigation will then follow me throughout SharePoint anywhere I go um, which is um, more than what the hub navigation will do which will only um, follow me through sites which has inherited this hub navigation bar. So at a very high level, that is what a SharePoint home site is. So what is the difference between a home site and a SharePoint hub site um, within SharePoint? Now, I'm not going to go too in detail about SharePoint hub sites. I've got a couple of different videos already on my YouTube channel which talk about what are hub sites and how to create a hub site. However, just as a high level to compare them against a home site, a SharePoint hub site has a few key features. It has this hub navigation bar across the top, uh, which is essentially a mega menu as it has three layers deep. So you can have news as number one, UK news as number two, and BBC as number three. And that hub navigation bar will be inherited um, by any other SharePoint site which is associated to this hub site. Now, in theory, most organizations, which are small or medium sized organizations, would have just one hub site. And that would be your um, the equivalent of this home site feature anyway. Um, and you can enable a home site to be a hub site to leverage both of these sets of functionality. Um, whereas an enterprise level company might have multiple hub sites, but they might only have one home site which shares this global navigation as a global navigation will appear everywhere in every single sharepoint site regardless of what hub site it is associated to whereas this hub navigation bar will only appear on the sites which are inheriting this hub site other hub site features include branding so you can set branding like this green and then if i move to one of my other sites like my finance site which uh, is actually inheriting uh, this like this site, you can see it's got exactly the same brand colors which uh, are pulling through. It also has um, across the top the same navigation bar, this hub navigation bar. Other kind of hub features as well is we can roll up news articles. So um, news articles which are associated to this hub, such as finance, it's rolling up the news articles directly from uh, that site as well. So those are some of the key benefits of having a hub site. But typically, as a larger enterprise company, you might have multiple hub sites. Maybe they are sort of um, based on, around the world. So you might have uh, an international company might have a US hub site, a Europe hub site, um, and an sort of Asia uh, specific kind of uh, hub site. So there's a couple of different reasons why you might have different hub sites there. But as I say, you typically have one SharePoint home site, which can also be, use those same hub site functionality. 
So before we go any further talking about how to then set up a home site and enable those features, I just want to have a quick reminder to subscribe to my channel. Um, it really does help uh, all YouTube content creators if you do subscribe to their channel as well as uh, like videos and comment any thoughts or questions that you might have. So what is the default home site for SharePoint? So by default, there is no SharePoint home site. You have to enable it. And I'm going to come on to showing you this in a second. So if you didn't have a home site set, what you'd see on this SharePoint navigation bar is actually there'll just be a button which says SharePoint start page. Now this isn't a sort of SharePoint internet home page. It's more of a searching page. So if you do not have a home site set, that's what you'll see. This home icon will appear and it'll take you to this page where you'll be able to see sites which you're following, recent sites you've accessed, as well as frequent sites you're accessing. And also over time, news articles and things like that would appear on this page to be able to promote those as well. But we're interested in how we set a home site, how when we click on this button, instead of taking us to the start page, we want to take it to our intranet home page. Uh, in this case, mine's called The Hub. So how do we set a site as your home site within SharePoint? Now, actually, to achieve this, you need to be a SharePoint admin. Now, I don't mean just an admin of a single SharePoint site. I mean within admin center of Microsoft 365, you need to have the SharePoint admin role. So if you don't have that, then you'll need to either contact your IT um, support desk or your IT provider um, to either ask them to follow these steps or to give you the SharePoint admin role. So starting from the beginning then, I'm gone to office.com, which is a home page of Microsoft 365. I then need to click on this admin tile. Now, as, as I say, if you do not have the SharePoint admin role, you will not see this admin button appear. Um, then I'm in the Microsoft 365 Admin Center, and I click on Show All to see all the different admin centers I can access. Again, I need to go to the SharePoint Admin Center, and if you don't have the role, you won't see it. Now I'm in the SharePoint Admin Center. Um, I need to find the Settings cog. And then what I'll see here is across the top, it has home site. So set the main landing site of your internet. Now, when you click on that, it's going to ask you for a URL um, to enter into this box. Now, I've just copied the URL of my uh, the hub uh, site, and I'm now pasting that into this URL of the, share, uh, of the site you want to use box here. So now I've put that in, I just need to click on save. And what that's going to do is it's now going to activate that particular SharePoint site to be the home site for my intranet. So if I go back to the site now, it may just take a couple of minutes and a couple of refreshes. So I'm just going to refresh uh, the page. And then boom, there, we can see it's now changed um, as the icons change. Now, um, it wouldn't necessarily um, change this icon straight away. It's only because I've already set this site to be a home site previously that this icon has changed. Now, you will continue to see almost like the little uh, home icon here um, for the time being. Um, if you haven't enabled the um, overarching global navigation. So to enable that, we need to go into the settings to enable and customize the global navigation. So the global navigation, as I was saying before, is actually um, something which will appear throughout SharePoint. So it's not hub site specific, it's SharePoint specific. So setting this up with your own icon and your own links can be really useful as it's going to appear throughout SharePoint. So let's take a look at that. So to enable this and also customize it, we can click on the cog across the top and then we can click on this global navigation. Now you can only do this from your home site, so don't try and do this on um, another site. So click on global navigation and then you can see um, by default it would just say uh, it's disabled. So you'd need to click on enabled and then you can click on change logo. So I've just used the Microsoft 365 logo for now because I quite like the look of this, but you can use your own little icon, uh, whichever one you like. Um, and then you need to select the, um, the, the home site navigation or the hub um, or global navigation. Now, basically the home site navigation will just give you this navigation bar to start with and you can edit it. Or the hub navigation bar will give you the hub navigation of the uh, home navigation site that, that you're using as your home site. For now, I'm just going to select home site navigation, click on save. And then that will then enable my uh, global navigation. 
Now to edit it, we need to go into the back end of the cog and then click on global navigation. And then you've got this edit global navigation button here. So by clicking that, the navigation bar on the left hand side will appear. And now this is exactly like a, a hub navigation bar or a site navigation bar to edit. We can add new links by clicking on the plus button here and we can either select as a link or a label. Uh, we can specify the URL of where it's going to and the display name and even audience targets it. Then once we click on OK, they'll add in our links. So I've just added in, for example, a link to uh, the hub homepage, a link to the news um, roll ups, uh, as well as some links to some common apps that my organization is going to use, like a power app for the leave request or a power app for the expense request. Uh, just an example. So now when people use this navigation, they can easily jump to back to the home uh, hub page from anywhere in SharePoint. It doesn't even have to be a SharePoint site, which is associated to this hub site. Um, or they can go directly to the news area of my SharePoint site. Um, or they can go directly into one of the apps to launch those. So that's a really be uh, beneficial reason to setting your home site. I hope you found that video useful. Um, if you do, please subscribe to the channel, uh, like this video, and put any thoughts, comments, uh, questions in the um, comments box below. Um, I know it's a little bit confusing in terms of the, the terminologies here, um, uh, in terms of having a home site and a hub site. It used to be that hub sites were pretty much the, the core kind of top layer, and they were your home pages for your internet. Uh, and now we have this new feature, which is setting your home sites. Um, and there's pros and cons to sort of using sort of both. Um, but I would suggest that you have your home site set um, with that navigation bar and you also enable it as a hub site so you can still use all of those same features that we've talked about in previous videos such as the uh, hub navigation as well as the share the branding permissions and content roll up as well thank you for watching and stay tuned for future videos